gets excited when he's able to uh, tell a patient that they're negative with the virus. And between Christmas and New Year's, if not last year, but the year before, I had four genome-wide type 1 patients that were six months post-treatment negative with the virus, and I was yelling and screaming being <laughs> It was the best Christmas present I ever had. Sorry, mm -hmm. dear. <laughs> my husband's in the back. And, and it's my husband and my son are my biggest advocates. And they'll do anything. I call them driving with the city. <laughs> so, so that's basically where I come from. Um, I, when I first started 14 years ago, I worked out of the back of my car. I would go into the patients' homes. I'd go onto boats into motels to help patients that were going on to basic monotherapy for treatment with given a box of medication saying, here you go, we'll see you in six months or a year with absolutely no support whatsoever. No follow-up, no um, analyzing of the blood work analysis throughout the entire treatment. So um, back in 2000, the illustrious British Columbia government came forward with the mandate to do something about hepatitis. So in each of the health authorities, money was given to develop um, something like a, a clinic. Um, so Vancouver Island Health Authority opened up a clinic in Campbell River. Well, that was back in 2000. We are now in 2010. And as far as our Vancouver Island Health Authority is concerned, um, about um, Hep C and <coughs> Bowser. So we pushed in our community to get from the back of my car. We had several very dedicated general practitioners who came forward that, well, that got very involved in the treatment of hep C. So we pushed and we opened up what we call the Central Island Viral Hepatitis Services in Nanaimo in 2001 with absolutely no funding from the provincial government. We're now in 2010. I still have an office, of which some days I'm not sure I will have an office. Or whether if I was to lose my office, I would be back into the back of my car. So I've done many things, as I mentioned in the um, bio. I'm a patient advocate. Yesterday I was in Victoria. I'm um, at the, um, the rally they had in Victoria. Proclamation was given down by the mayor of Victoria. It was a fairly decent turnout. Uh, Hep CBC was there, the council was there, solid, then do different areas. So that's going to push me into the next little bit of my talk today. My whole focus that I'm steering for as a healthcare professional is the focus on community. And we have a huge community in British Columbia, but we're many small segments within our communities. So I'd like to start today with a quote from Margaret Mead, an American anthropologist. And she says, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. So take that as a small community. We can make change. So again today, this meeting, I'm, we are uh, commemorating Hepatitis Awareness Month. Um, and this is only our third annual global hepatitis awareness. When you think of it, that's extremely discouraging. Mm -hmm. It should be long more than our third. Mm -hmm. So from a global perspective, I'm going to reiterate some facts again with constant